What is going on people inside that internet machine? Welcome to this episode of Odds and Ends. Today we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 Nintendo games. And there's a twist. So here we go, my top 10 NES games. No Mario, no Mega Man, no Contra, no Castlevanias, and no Zeldas. We're doing this for a reason. Number one, they're all great games. Everybody's talked about those games at nauseum. Whenever we refer to these modern games, we, we sort of use terms it's like Zelda, it's like Mega Man. So we know how great these games are. Number two, I just thought it would be interesting to dig a little bit deeper into the library, take out all those, those top five great franchises there and, and really sort of nostalgia dig and uh, find some great games. And, and number three, to be honest with you, I'm tired of watching top 10 lists on YouTube that are predictable. You know, like all the games, all the top 10 lists, uh, Mario 3, Zelda, yeah, I get it. They're great games. So I thought we'd do a little something different today. We'd take out those five franchises. We'd dig a little bit deeper. We'd find some great games. And uh, also, no sports games today. There's a lot of great sports games for the NES. RBI Baseball, Tecmo Bowl, Blades of Steel, Ice Hockey. Got it, got it, got it, right? But I was thinking about doing a collaboration video with some other YouTubers about uh, sports games. So just for today, no sports games, even though there are a ton of great sports games on the Nintendo. You guys ready? I'm ready. So let's just get started. In my opinion, we are starting off hot. Time to get dangerous with Darkwing Duck. So for most of you, I do not have to explain the awesome significance of the marriage between Disney and Capcom and Nintendo back in the day. They made some of the greatest games of that era, and uh, Darkwing Duck was a cartoon in the block of cartoons known as the Disney Afternoon. Now, I would come home from school, I would watch the Disney Afternoon, Tailspin, and Darkwing Duck were my favorites. Darkwing Duck is a... Uh, it's just a platformer, but it's built on the Mega Man 5 engine. So if you're familiar with those games, again, referring back to the greatness of the Mega Man. Uh, if you're familiar with how Mega Man plays and controls, then you will absolutely love Darkwing Duck. It's just the appropriate amount of challenge. It's a great game. It's colorful, fun. The graphics, the soundtrack is amazing, and it's very deserving to be in my top 10. That's for sure. Number nine is a game that puts me in that way back machine, takes me way back to playing Nintendo with my brother in my parents' basement. And uh, that game is Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. Show me. A Kung, Kung Fu is a black box game, you know, so it's an earlier Nintendo title. And just graphically, it's not as good as some of the, the later titles, but the graphics still hold up today. I love the music in Kung Fu. And tell me, no, no one can tell me this. If you've ever played Kung Fu, how satisfying is it when you kick somebody and they go flying off the screen, right? Five levels, it's just a standard like side scroll action game. Nothing really special there. Five Levels kind of plays like Game of Death, the Bruce Lee movie. And uh, yeah, just a great game. I love playing it. I, I play it every year, at least one or two loops, uh, just to get those nostalgia juices boiling again. And uh, Kung Fu is my number nine. Coming in at number eight is the greatest licensed comic book game on the Nintendo, Batman.
And most of you probably won't be surprised to see Batman on my list. You know, it's a Sunsoft title. It's a it's an action platformer kind of game, and uh, it, it's difficult, but you do get unlimited continues, so it's not really that difficult. Just keep trying if you've never beaten Batman before. But the music that Sunsoft put in this game is absolutely legendary. And there is just something about this Batman logo, the Michael Keaton era Batman, that just always takes me back. I remember my mom, uh, my parents were divorced and she picked me up for weekend custody and we went and saw Batman in the theaters and it was absolutely incredible. And ever since then, I have loved this game. I didn't own it as a kid, I rented it. But man, when I had an opportunity to buy this complete in box for like 20 bucks at a, at a game store, I absolutely jumped on it. Batman is one of the best games on the Nintendo, hands down. You guys know I love my shooters and I had to put a shooter on this list. Coming in at number seven, Dragon Spirit. A Dragon Spirit on the NES is an arcade port. It's two player, which is great. Um, I wouldn't say the challenge is like a 10, but it's not an easy game either. Uh, there's sort of a tutorial or a first stage and depending on how you do in that stage, it will let you play like the easy mode or the hard mode. And um, yeah, I picked that game up a couple years ago, was absolutely addicted to it. Had it popped into the old Sharp NES TV and uh, could not put the controller down. With an amazing power-up system, I like the varying levels. You know, they, they all look and feel different. And of course they end with a final boss stage. The weird thing about Dragon Spirit is that it's like a $10 game. It is still super cheap and affordable. So if you're looking to pick up an awesome shooter for your NES, make sure it's Dragon Spirit. So the number six game on my list is not only a great game, but it has a funny story as well. It is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to tell you that there was a time when the Ninja Turtles ruled the earth. You couldn't go anywhere without Ninja Turtle anything. The toy store, sure. About your party supply store, absolutely. The dollar store, of course. And Pizza Hut, I had, well it was the, uh, the uh, shell tour, something that came with, it was a cassette tape, I had that. <laughs> I can't even remember what the name of that was called. But Ninja Turtles was a big deal back in the day. The arcade game was just gangbusters. My dad played in a bowling league and they had gauntlet and uh, uh, Ninja Turtles, and we would go, you know, with my dad, my brother and I would go with my dad, and a guy on my, my dad's team also had two boys, and we would just play four player Ninja Turtles, and it was absolutely amazing. Like the graphics were uncomparable back then. And of course, you're looking at it through rose colored lenses, and you're like, well, it's Ninja Turtles, it's better than everything else. So the graphics are better, the sound's better, the gameplay's better, but it really was. It was such an important and impactful game and uh, when people say, what's your favorite arcade game? Most people will say, at least Ninja Turtles uh, Arcade is in their top five. Now, Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game on the NES, for me, there was a Christmas. And a Christmas we used to get Nintendo games. My brother got Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. And what did old CM Retro get for Christmas? I got Silent Service. Not a bad game. I actually like that game, but it's not Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. You see what I'm saying? That's how impactful that game is on my life. I remember getting screwed on Christmas. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? But Turtles, you know, it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. It's tons of fun, and again, another game that is super cheap. Coming in at number five is a game that probably none of you would expect on my list, but I love this game. I have a lot of nostalgia for it. It is Kabuki Quantum Fighter. A Kabuki Quantum Fighter has some cockamamie story where you infiltrate a computer system to destroy this alien virus, right? But it's predominantly a side-scrolling platformer, and uh, it's fast and intuitive like Ninja Gaiden, but it's got that horror theme to it that kind of reminds you of Castlevania or uh, Metroid. And uh, a lot of people don't know this, you get your select button, you can cycle through your sub-weapons, just, you know, Pro Strat from CM Retro. But I just remember getting so good at this game that I was just able to fly through it seamlessly. There's, um, you know, physics where you, you grab onto something and you, like you have to have momentum. You have to swing your body to get momentum, and you can like literally f like momentum flip over bullets. You also use your hair, like you whip your hair uh, to defeat enemies. And uh, the boss battles are absolutely crazy. But it is one of my most nostalgic games. I love playing it, and it's one of those games I play through just about every year. Unfortunately, that game's getting a little bit pricey. So if you can get it on an emulator or on the Nintendo shop or something like that, make sure that you give it a try if you like, you know, Ninja Gaiden games like that. So coming in at number four is my favorite co-op game of all time. Kick the tires, light the fires, polish up those Jeeps because we're going to play some Jackal. Jackal is just a top-down shooter, man. That's all, that's all it is. Action shooter. Uh, you save hostages. You blow up the enemy. You get to the end of the level. There's a boss fight. There's nothing really crazy special about it. But it does hit that nostalgia button for me. Uh, my dad and I used to play this game. My brother and I used to play this game. I didn't beat this game until... Uh, a couple years ago, I finally beat it on live stream. I fell over in my chair because I was so happy. But there are very few games in my Nintendo collection that really take me back to a certain place and time, uh, like Jackal. Uh, again, it's another one of those cheap games. So definitely pick it up and add it to your collection. Yeah, it's just great. Before we get to my top three games, Let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Alright, I lied to you. I'm embarrassed. I said no sports games, but I figured I would add one sports game, my favorite sports game of all time. <laughs> Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Is there a game on the Nintendo? that is more satisfying when you beat an opponent than Mike Tyson's punch out. Watching them go through their knockdown animations, that bee, 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 oh, you know, is absolutely magical. And when you learn a pattern for a specific uh, opponent, and you know that you're gonna knock this guy out in about a minute, uh, you, yeah, that it just, there's no better feeling. You feel like you are better than the machine. You are faster, you can process, you have cat-like reflexes, and when you finally beat Mike Tyson's punch out, which I did last year, you feel like a gaming god. Mike Tyson's punch out, oh boy. I love that game. Uh, whew, whew. Top three, baby. My number two 
game, some of you probably would have uh, picked this to be my number one game. But you probably also knew that it would be in here somewhere. Oh my god, I love Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. Gaiden Gaiden. Gaidan. Ladies and gentlemen, Ninja Gaiden wakes up every morning and it pisses fucking excellence. It's one of the greatest games of all time and it does everything on the grandest level. Level designs, the music, the story, the sub weapons, the gameplay, the bosses, everything about Ninja Gaiden is just awesome. I loved Ninja Gaiden as a kid. I could never beat it until I was an adult. Last year, I know Death ran it. I did it on Twitter, or on uh, Twitter, I did it on Twitch, and I posted that video down below with Pro Strats. See, I'm Retro's Pro Strats. So make sure you check that out. But there is nothing that I do not like about Ninja Gaiden. You can say the knockback and the respawning enemies, but it's a hard game. It's supposed to be hard. Those obstacles are supposed to be in your way so when you finally get past them, it is such a sweet moment. You feel like you are better than the game. You feel like you have mastered a part of the game. And once you've done it, you remember it. And your next run is better. And your next run is better. And your next run is better. And you pick up on a little thing. Beat this enemy to that spot. Use this sub weapon on that enemy and you just become great at the game. And all of a sudden, it's not so hard. You get unlimited continues in that game so you can practice, practice, practice. And I highly recommend Ninja Gaiden. Like I said, it's my, it's my top two game of all time. I love Ninja Gaiden so much. Here we are, the number one spot on my top 10 Nintendo games list. It's a game that I bought from a friend of mine or got from a friend of mine. I knew I wanted to play it and I knew I was gonna love it. And it is Vice Project Doom. If you have not played Vice Project Doom, play it on emulator, download it, buy a copy. I don't care, just play this game. It is phenomenal. It's a Sammy title. Predominantly, you're gonna be playing as a side scroller like Ninja Gaiden. That's probably why I like it. You've got a laser whip, a gun, and some grenades that you can uh, switch between on the fly, figure out which weapons work better with which enemies and bosses. There are also two top down vehicle combat stages, kind of like Spy Hunter. And then there are also two first person shooter stages like uh, Operation Wolf, Hogan's Alley. Uh, that kind of thing, but it's so much fun to play. You just get immersed in this game. The bosses are incredible. The level design is incredible. There's always plenty of power-ups and ammo lying around, so you never feel like uh, you can't use your sub-weapons. They want you to use the sub-weapons, and it's just an absolutely ridiculously underrated and awesome game. And I have it as my number one. So you can trust CM Retro, believe that. So that is going to do it. That is my top 10 Nintendo games list, minus Mario, Mega Man, Contra, Castlevania, and Zelda. That's a pretty hearty list, boys and girls. What are some of your favorite Nintendo games? Leave a comment down below. I can't wait to read what you guys have posted down there because I'm sure there's gonna be some games that I've never heard of or I need to put more time into anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share on social media because that really does help out a lot. Don't forget to bang that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM Retro Gaming goodness. Guys, take care of yourselves 
and we will see you, pa-pow, on the next one.